Now the next $100,000 question is, where on the wall are we going to put it? The edge of the toilet is about right here. You see where the toilet edge is. Okay. And in commercial applications, they'll run this between 33 and 34 inches. Now residential, you don't have to do that. Let's just see what 33 is. Okay. Let's visualize that point. I've got 33 and a half right there. I'm looking at that. And that's where they would put it in commercial application. Right there, 24 inches in front of the toilet. And then it has to be a minimum of a 42 inch grab bar here on the side. Well, residential, you don't have to necessarily do that. So you can put this wherever you want. Does it have to be a 33? No. Mm -hmm. It'll be higher. It can be, it can be wherever you feel comfortable. Because here's the thing, some people, some, some people may not have a problem like this, pushing up, right? Let's get this down a little bit lower. Okay. Like if it's there, I gotta get this down even lower. Jeez. All right. Or I'm sorry, up higher. Silly beanie. Okay. Let's say it right here. Maybe you you don't have enough weight or strength in your arms to get up this way and push. Maybe you can put your grab bar like that at an angle and then grab it here and pull yourself up rather than push yourself up with your arms. Does that make sense? I mean, I've, I've even seen them like this in some, you know, at a shower or something like that. I thought, oh, that's kind of slick. You just grab it here and pull up. But lots of people need that stability when they're getting on here. If they got a wheelchair, walker, cane, whatever, they can grab onto this somehow and slide their hand along it and then maneuver to get on the toilet and all that. Okay? So I rack my brain on exactly where to put it, where to put it. I had my dad come in here and we decided to put it up like this. Can you imagine? That's how we're going to put it. At an angle. And I went ahead and put some marks about in the center uh, on the back side here and down here. I thought, you sure you want it like that? And, and the one he's got in his other room, it doesn't necessarily have to match. It's actually out front further. And I, I don't really like that, but it's already preset and we have to live with it. If you're, you've been watching these videos, I, I already showed you that one and there was a big hole and I told you I'd fix it somehow. Well, I'm going to give you a tip. I may be showing you kind of what I'm going to use to fix that on this particular application because this one here, okay, I've marked it and it's going to be up here like that, right? And to find the studs, I know this is where it's going to be, but the studs in the wall, here's a stud way over here. And I don't need a stud finder, I'm just using my finger. That's hollow right there. Now there's a stud. Go further. And you'll feel it. You'll feel the, the hollowness through your finger and also you'll, you'll feel where the stud is. You'll, feel, you'll hear a higher pitch noise. So I know, there's, I know there's two studs on this wall and I can't hit either one of them. There's the other stud. You don't need a stud finder. If you do have a stud finder, great. Find that because you might even be able to find some blocks. They might have put some fire blocks in here, some grab bar backing blocks, but they didn't put any in the other um, bathroom. And I don't think they have any here either. Even if they did, we're putting this up at an angle. And I know the fire blocks are, are going to be set horizontally if there are any grab bar backing blocks. Okay. And new construction, if you're not sure exactly what you're going to do in the, in the future, go ahead and put your blocks in there for grab bars. You never know who's going to buy the houses. It could be a selling feature when you get older and you got, you got people who need grab bars, you know there's going to be some grab bar backing in there. Okay, Even if you end up putting it up high, you can put two rows of 2 by 12 blocking in there for your backing and then ride your stud finder up sideways to figure out where the blocks are. You'll, you'll be able to figure that out. But because we've got just sheetrock here and no backing behind, how are we going to install this? 
And if you watch my other video, I showed you how to use some plastic anchors. And as a matter of fact, I got a couple extra. And this is what I used for the other one. They're holding 75 pounds each. And this, these were the ones I put in behind the toilet. Okay, and the, on that grab bar. With it, I don't necessarily, you know, I could get by with putting these here and be done with it. I'm not going to do that. I feel more comfortable doing it a different way. And this is a way that I've never done before, but it makes sense to cost a little bit more. And they're designed to hold better. Stick around and I'll show you what it is.